A South Florida woman missing abroad. Her friends and family say that the Fort Lauderdale woman went on a trip to Spain and has not been heard from since February 2nd. Local 10's Bridget Matter joining us live now from Fort Lauderdale with the latest on this one. Bridget. Spanish authorities, they are treating this as a missing persons case. It's been 12 days since this woman was seen. We did talk to one of her close friends. She says the night that she disappeared, a man was seen on surveillance video spray painting cameras at her apartment building. 40 year old Anna Nezovich, a realtor from Fort Lauderdale, disappeared while in Madrid, Spain, February 2nd. Almost two weeks later, still no trace of her. Her best friend, Sana Ramo, says she received this bizarre text message the day she vanished. I met someone wonderful. He has a house outside of Madrid two hours. We are going there now and we're going to stay there for a few days. A signal is going to be spotty and I'll call you when I get back. She says Anna had plans to go to Barcelona the following Monday and she would not run off with a random stranger. Sana flew to Madrid and made a disturbing discovery at Anna's apartment building. There was a man the same evening when she disappeared that spray painted her the surveillance cameras in her building with black paint. Loved ones say they are frustrated. Authorities are not doing more. Anna was an enthusiastic traveler, but always kept in touch. She left the States for Spain in December amid a tough divorce. Very sweet, very caring. I couldn't imagine who would want to hurt her. Her husband of 13 years is now believed to be in Serbia, where he's from and has not gone to Spain to aid in the search. We visited the Fort Lauderdale home where the couple lived. Neighbor Guy Jackman says the two kept to themselves, and he did see police talking to David around the time Anna was reported missing. The last I saw of him was there was a couple of cop cars out there a couple of weeks back. He was speaking to the police. Her family is very concerned. They've not been able to reach her and stress this is not like her. She would keep in contact with family. And there is no sign of her husband here at the home. The mail is piling up. We did get a uh, word from the State Department today saying that they are working closely with Spanish authorities. For now, we're live in Fort Lauderdale. Bridget Matter, Local 10 News. Okay, Bridget, thank you. Homeland